What's good, people? We are here with my Game 3 match against Zachary for OLT Round 6. First round of Top 16. And, uh, yeah, I load up the boys here. Looking at the matchup, it looks, like, decent for me. Because I have CM Sableye with Dark Pulse. I have Moltres there without... It's not Substitute, it is... HP ground instead. Um, forget what the Mag I think it's just pain split Magierna. Uh, Z fly Landris defensive. Uh, bulk up roost drain punch ice punch. Boswell and toxic Chansey with wish. I think it's wish. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's wish for uh, Lando and stuff. So here I lead off with my Sableye. I don't have protect. I am CM, so I just straight out recover here. He was never gonna go for Z Dazzling Gleam and uh, Specs Dazzling Gleam does not knock me out so I can just roost that uh, recover there and get my Mega which was definitely more important so I go into my Chansey here don't want to risk a para on my win con but I guess I uh, you'll see later on so I just Toxic here as he goes Chomp which was the biggest threat like look at Z Outrage Chomp versus my team I guess it's like I have Lando and a Buzzwell but like it's still kind of scary here I go into my Sableye, I get into kind of a click mode here. And um, yeah, I miss, I kind of misplay a lot. That first play, I think that first uh, play into Sableye wasn't really a misplay. But here, yeah, I go into my Lando. And now uh, he reveals the Continental Crush. So I know my Buzzwell Walls. And here I get, I kind of flex, as you can probably see from the S-Trace chat. And I go into my Sableye, which was in hindsight really stupid. Because in my mind, I thought Rocks plus um, Medicham like, was really scary for me because my, my Sableye takes like 40% because it's max spedef. It takes like 40% from uh, Ice Punch. So yeah, I didn't want to let Rocks up, but like in hindsight, Rocks were kind of fine because like once I got Sableye in, like I never really had to switch it out because it does smash him at this point, as you can probably tell from his team. Here I just sack my Lando to get the Intimidate off and I can bring in my Sableye at full with no rocks on the field. Which I... it's better for me obviously. But yeah, still a misplay. And here I see him and uh, basically it's, it's kinda over now. I see him again. And now I think he just... he turns out into his... okay. He fishes for the para as I Will-O-Wisp here. Now, I think he should have just kept fishing for the para, but I think he just U-turns out and goes into his Greninja as I just recover on off. And now the, the turns just kind of go by as I just see him up. As you can see, there's not really a wait in between turns. I'm clicking kind of fast, which is stupid. So he flinches me there. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to get crit. But I do recover up. I did the calc here, and I needed plus 5, so 3.5 times the special attack in order to kill the Medcham from 94, which it's at, in order to kill it 100% uh, of the time. So here I recover, and I do the calc. I do the calc at this point, and um, I realize that I need another CM to 100% kill the Medicham, so that's what I go for. And my nicknames are from Zombies, Black Ops Zombies, which is the best series of all time. And they're... Um, yeah, I just get plus five, I recover, and I kill the Gren. No crits, no nothing. Uh, this guy says greed in the chat, and so I kind of have to call him out because it wasn't greed. Because I want to be able to kill the Medicham from 100% because um, I don't want him having two chances to freeze me instead of one. Actually, I think it was three chances to freeze me because I Dark Pulse. If I don't kill him, then he Ice Punches again and I recover. It's like a whole messy situation that I don't want to go through. And I think just um, risking the crit was better odds there. Just one turn risking the crit. And so, yep. I Dark Pulse there. And now he's forced to go into his Medicham to try and freeze me. And you could probably tell from my voice that he does not get it. And I knock out his Medi and he forfeits there. And I was an Ojama team by the nicknames. Your nicknames are awful Ojama, I'm sorry, but they're pretty bad. And so yeah, we just say GG, and he kinda, I mean, he's he's out of the tournament at this point, so he kinda just goes on his little, like, last kind of speech. 
saying he threw game two. I mean, he did he did choke game two, but um, yeah, just trying to make him feel better. Yeah, game two was kind of weird. And so yeah, he's just saying his things. Didn't think you'd ever risk your only save uh, Medicham check, and he is right there. Um, I shouldn't have risked that ever because um, yeah, because obviously it just wins and. I definitely need this for Medicham, because looking at my team, it's pretty bad. Magirna can live at full, but, like, it's still risky, and I don't have Flame Body. I'm pressured on Moltres, so, yeah. It's not that good of a matchup. And so I drop a Treyway in chat, because <laughs> I knew he was right, but I didn't want to, like, admit that. So I just said Treyway, and, uh, yeah, he forfeits right around here, I think. So now I'm on to round 7, which is top 8, so that is pretty sick. I didn't even think I was going to get out of a Swiss bracket. I was just going to go like 0-3, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I did get, I did hack some, like, base uh, game 2. Um, he missed the, uh, he missed the uh, gunk shot versus my Serp, but uh, I also missed some moves. And he also choked, so I don't even know, like, it was just kind of a, not really a disgusting series, but it was kind of like haxy on both sides, but yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, I'll try to be back for more of my series, because that's all I care about, no, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, uh, first time helping out Doc, don't bully me about my lisp, Gunga.